Hi, I'm Gervais Fong, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Synopsys. I'm here to talk to you about our exciting new USB 5 product line, Synopsys' Designware USB Femto 5, our fourth generation USB 5 family that takes up only half the area of previous generation of Designware USB 5s. Today, I'm pleased to present the test results of the industry's first USB 3.0 and 2.0 Phi IP in the latest FinFET semiconductor processes. Synopsys verifies its IP through significant R&D investment in test chip design and verification. Our USB Femto Phi test chips have just finished characterization testing in one of our European sites. Here's the thermal stream thermal system that we use to test chips in typical and worst case hot and cold environments. The thermal stream system creates the extreme temperatures required for our characterization testing. This is important because products that include USB are expected to work in a wide range of conditions. Our USB Femto Phi's have three voltage domains. For the FinFET processes, the voltages are 0.8, 1.8, and 3.3 volts. During characterization, we vary the voltage to cover all the corners. However, for ease of integration, a built-in 1.8 volt LDO can be enabled in the Femto Phi so that only core voltage and 3.3 volt supplies are needed. Now that you understand how we test our FIs across PVT, let's look at the eye diagram results for the USB 3.0 Femto Phi. We've set up our first test with the thermal stream temperature set to a typical 25 degrees centigrade. And you can see the results for the near end super speed USB eye diagram under these nominal voltage and temperature conditions. The near end eye looks just like you would expect from a high quality Designware Super Speed USB Phi. However, what's important is that the far end Super Speed eye that the receiver uses for decoding, shown here, shows excellent margin relative to the minimum eye mass specification. You might ask, how does the USB 3.0 Femto 5 perform under worst case conditions? Let's take a look at the near end super speed USB I diagram at minus 40 degrees C and minus 10% voltage supply. Notice the thermal stream doing its job freezing our test chip. The near end I is not affected. And here is the part under the same condition showing the far end I diagram. The Femto 5 continues to show excellent results. Now we'll turn up the thermal stream and bake the part to 125 degrees C while turning down the voltage supplies. And here is the near end eye. No surprises here. On the far end, the eye shrinks, but we still have margin relative to the spec, showing that we have excellent performance across voltage and temperature conditions. For the USB 2.0, we'll look at the high speed, full speed, and low speed eye diagrams. Of course, they have been tested across PVT conditions, but in the interest of time, we'll keep it short. Here's our low speed USB 2.0i. Here's our full speed. And lastly, our high speed USB eye diagram that shows a nicely balanced eye with good margin relative to the eye mass spec. In addition to characterizing our USB Femto Phi test chips on FinFET processes, we have also taken them successfully through USB logo certification. With demonstrated silicon success, our latest generation USB 5s will be very attractive for SOC designs targeting today's advanced FinFET and 28 nanometer processes. Thanks for watching.